What's up, everybody? This is Success Express, the number 506th financial program currently in Kuwait. We are climbing the charts of Kuwait. I'm one of your hosts, of course, Ethan the Crispy Crust, Kaka Stink, Hambone Jr., bringing you all the latest financial news and updates and explaining how to close your savings account without incurring all these fees and uh, deadline. And uh, anyway, we'll get into it. But with me today, uh, it's not my normal co-host. It's, uh, it's Michael instead. Uh, Michael is here. He is the Italian gelato of finance. He's the Coco Bingy. What's up, Michael? Hey, everyone. How are y'all doing out there? They can't uh, answer you back. Well, they can oh, okay. on Twitch, actually. So if you're, you want to say something to Michael, go ahead. Uh, speaking of the Twitch, people are going crazy for Midge. We had Midge Riega on the last episode, and guess what the F? He's back! He's saluting us right now like an army general. What's up, Midge? How you feeling, buddy? Doing well. Doing well. Feeling good. You know, chatting with some of the smartest uh, minds in the, uh, the universe. Absolutely. Go ahead and take it off the planet as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, Midge you know, Nation, we, stand up. You definitely make more money than most of the people on any planet in the outer solar system. Oh. Just saying. Are you well-traveled? Uh, have you done some space exploration? No, but... Uh, Sounds good. You know, e- Emmanuel Zorg uh, <laughs> Musk has, uh, you know, opened it up. So... Uh, A good friend you of know. yours, Emmanuel Zorg? Emmanuel Zorg Musk. Uh, Emmanuel Zorg Musk, know, good buddy. I wish, I wish I knew him, but uh, you know, if anything, uh, like the Fifth Element tells us, he's gonna, he's gonna control, you know, quite a bit of the world, and uh, we're gonna be on his uh, his spaceship, okay. on his ride. I look forward to that. I look forward to speaking yeah, well, you to better you be today. Okay with that. I am totally fine with that. Uh, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad Michael is here. Uh, the Coco Bingy. He's the man, and uh, and of course we have our producer, Shiny Moose the Goose. He's loose right here in ATC Studios. What's up, Shiny? Not much. How about them Patriots? Oh my Again. God, Jesus Christ! Again. He's hyped on these Patriots. Who cares? The fuck cares? A bunch of Finn fans out here. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. What do you like, Midge? I don't, I don't. I definitely don't like anything Tom Brady has ever touched. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I was I was saying uh, earlier that you refer to him as Bomb Trady in order to not say his name. Well, listen. Uh, you know, we we had a, a rough going one time in a bar in Boston, and you know, obviously, if you say anything or you look at him wrong in that city, it's going to be a problem. So you know, uh, I was exiled. <laughs> I was beaten and exiled from the city, so I still have that. Uh, Sorry about I guess. that, buddy. So, that yeah, sucks. He's, yeah, he's responsible for that. Well, we also have Lukey Lou. He's here. Uh, Lucas, what's up? Uh, our new Purdue. Que pasa, Lukey Lou? I'm trying to get these midge motes ready for the for the Twitch chat. But oh, Twitch is stonewalling me. So okay, well, Man. classic Twitch. But uh, we love your we love you guys uh, on Twitch. Our McDucks that are joining us, uh, asking questions and stuff. I really love that. Uh, we're going to get you those Midge motes so you can go Midge crazy. Now, uh, Midge, I, I got to say, as a little tease here, and, and, and we might have to throw to a sponsor in a second, but when we last left off, I think we were about midday on your FAP schedule. So I really want to make sure that we get people the proper information about your... your. Yeah, like I said before, you know, depending on the day, depending on the lab schedule, it's usually often quite sometimes uh, a uh, FAP and eat. Uh, type of deal. Um, fap, and, and fap and eat. Yes, yes. One in one in one motion. And Michael, you are the one sending him these schedules. Is that correct? You're yes. uh, like an assistant of sorts, a backup assistant. Yes, that's correct. It, do you have any challenges with Midge? Uh, on you know making sure that he stays on track. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of change orders that uh, come. I'm in. back, gentlemen. Sorry. Yeah, there's there's a lot of change <laughs> orders. Uh, that come in from his management team. Do you guys team. hear me? Yes, we hear you. We hear you, I, Mitch. I lagged, I lagged out there. I wasn't sure if you hear me. I had a quick fap while wait, you know, in the meantime. So okay. we're, we're good wow. now for the afternoon. Good to hear, buddy boy. i have boy. to uh, make a note of that. Record that fap. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, if you lag out, you got a quick uh, maybe one second delay. Let's figure out how to get it in. Okay. Thank you, Midge, for updating us yeah, on that. So, so, yeah, change orders and what? Change like? orders. Um, I mean, there's just a lot of adjustments. Obviously, I didn't tell him about the driver today. Mm-hmm. Had the flare Incident. come through the house yeah. while he was fapping. Yeah. 
I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I wasn't I'll fall able on that sword. Uh, that was my bad. All my miniature products, but uh, mm-hmm. I did. I was able to grab a few. Oh, great. Okay, fantastic. Well, I want to promote these miniatures uh, for people to purchase. Uh, but, uh, but Sean, do we have an ad today? I, I don't want to mess that up. Well, we do. We have an ad here for Green Gabagool. Okay, fantastic. So let's, uh, let's hear a word from Green Gabagool. I'm really happy uh, to have a sponsor on today's show, Success Express, number one financial program on the internet. Uh, we've got insane financial minds here today. I mean, Michael, uh, if you don't know, came from a gelato background, and now he's got this in- incredible Italian bakery, some of the freshest uh, breads. And I mean, what you do is unbelievable. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And uh, we have Midge, who uh, was a flight simulator digital pilot who got in trouble That's with some right. of his digital passengers and That's then right. uh, moved on to working first Success Express full-time, managing our product line, such as the Shrek dildos, which you can get on patreon.com slash success express. And he's a great salesman too. Uh, he's a brilliant, uh, he, you, you can sell anything to anybody, right, Mitch? Well, I've been told that. Um, I think so. And I've been, uh, you know, I had to uh, sell at gunpoint before, which, you know, not a lot of uh, salespeople have had to do before. <laughs> That's incredible. The high pressure situation. That's like the upper yeah. echelon training that you get when you're an elite yeah, that's salesperson. Right. It's kind it's, of like a it's life or death. It's a swordfish training program. It's like I have to sell this yeah. uh, exactly this dildo, or they're going to kill my family. John Travolta often, uh, you know, speaks at these events. He invented it. Well, that's awesome as shit. So we're going to be right back here to give you a, a bunch of financial tips. We're going to get into the rest of uh, Midgerigiega's FAP schedule and uh, see how that makes him a more productive businessman. And of course, we're going to learn what's coming up in Coco's Bakery. What's going to be the new holiday line? I'm sure you got some exciting stuff cooking up for the holidays. Yep. That's delicious. I like that cooking up. That was cool. Oh, not even... I play on words there. And then we'll be right back from yep. a word from Green Gabagool. From the brilliant minds who brought you The Wire and True Detective comes Green Gabagool, starring Kermit the Frog. Hey, where is he? I want, I want, I want a name. I want a name and I want him under the ground. I want him fucking dead. Give me the Gabagool and no one else gets hurt. A mafia story unlike any other, and I know what you're thinking. HBO, haven't you done a mafia story with the Sopranos already? Why do another mafia story? Well, because now we have the only actor who could best James Gandolfini, Kermit the Frog, as mafia boss, Kermit. Look, it's all about family, but when someone else comes and they try to fuck with your family, you kill them. You put them under the ground. Boss, we can't do it. If we start, if we start killing them off, it's gonna be a gang war. I don't care. This, I want fucking blood in the streets, okay? <laughs> Calm down, boss, please. I'm your consigliere. I'm... We can't do it. <laughs> Why don't we just take some of their businesses? We'll just keep raking them. Uh, we'll get our, we'll get our beaks wet. No, it's not gonna work, okay? I've been doing this since I came over from Italy, okay? I know what I'm doing. Sorry, no disrespect, boss. You're the boss. Whatever you want, we'll get it done. <laughs> hey, Kermit. Meet me at the fucking docks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> get the guns and get the drugs. It's not just a drama. It's not just a violent action show. It's also a romance. My fucking wife. It's fucking. My fucking wife, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, that show looks really good. <laughs> That show looks really good. Very romantic. Uh, it's really for everybody. It seems like that's the kind of thing. I guess that's why they release it during the holidays, so everybody can get together. I think they and, do that so they can like get the kids in as well, not oh, just the... that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, right, kids can gather around, sit on the floor, and the parents can also enjoy a yeah. nice program like uh, Green Cup. Yeah, pool. it's like they're watching Sopranos, but then the kids like Kermit, so they, kind of, <laughs> they can relate to Kermit. That makes sense. But Kermit, yeah. as I've never seen him before. Right. That's right. Yeah. It is a new brand of Kermit, but but it is still Kermit. Still Kermit. And, and the kids love Kermit. I mean, what's not to love? He's a funny frog. And I got to say, I, I did try watching a little bit of this, and I don't want to down the sponsors. I'm happy you guys are sponsoring the show. But it did, every now and then, I'd get wrapped up in kind of the gang versus gang violence. And then seeing Kermit would take me out of it a little bit, I got to say. Did you feel that way, or what do you think? No, I mean... Um, okay. You know, I mean, 
a lot of times, you know, the mafia boss can be like a short guy or a small guy sure. or whatever. So like that's true. You know, Kermit, he's not actually the one roughing people up. He's just getting but, barking orders. Yeah, he's got the the. You but know. it didn't take you out to see like a bunch of humans and then like a green <laughs> puppet. <laughs> I really didn't notice, to be honest. I, wow. I Yeah, I I thought I just felt like I was watching Godfather, Goodfellas. Right. It's like Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro, mm-hmm. Joe Pesci, and then. Kermit. That's unbelievable. And uh, and Midge, have you seen any of that program? What'd you think of that? Uh, I was able to get some uh, private uh, Success Express screeners. Great. Uh, yeah. So it, it it was it was jarring uh, how intense it was. Uh, yeah, very intense show. Once That's again, uh, I watch it with my kids, <laughs> and they're and they love it. Or yeah, they're interested. Yeah, I mean, they love they love Kermit. I mean whatever he's doing hopefully they don't notice some of the uh the acts he's performing right in this uh show but uh, yeah yeah he's a, he's I, a good guy i did think and, and i'm curious because i wasn't watching it with kids but as a man who has several children and i'd love to hear more about them midge uh you're watching there with your kids what about that scene where kermit uh kills a man with barbed wire was that were they asking questions about that or how did that yeah go down? you know that i i figured that was gonna be the same and that was that was interesting, especially there was a lot of close-ups uh, that, you know, you weren't expecting. And, um, you know, I just explained to him that, you know, sometimes, you know, there's a food chain. And, you know, Kermit, even though he's a frog, he happens to be on the top. Um, yep. And, you know, that should teach him something about, you know, the family. Um, and that you can you kind know, of accomplish talk, anything, about, even if you're about, just a you frog. Know, keeping, yeah, exactly. You know, they need to learn the lesson about, you know, tight lips. You know, loose lips sink ships. Yep. That's yeah, right. he w- he was doing that for his for his for his family for his mafia. Yeah, they, it's good. Family, it's good so. mafia lessons for the kids. Yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. So let's take another listen here. Let's play a clip. Uh, they're sponsoring the show, and we really appreciate it. Uh, it's it's on HBO Max right now. Uh, you can check out the first episode of Green Gobble Ghoul. Um, thank you guys for sponsoring the so- show. Thank you HBO. And, uh, and then we'll be right back, and we're going to get into uh, the Coco Bakery uh, holiday lineup. I'm really excited about that. I love desserts. <laughs> I really I have a sweet tooth for sure. So uh, I hope that uh, you can tell me about some cupcakes, or I don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, I mean, we got the organic farm I was telling you about on the last okay. episode. I can't really talk about it, but we can talk around it. Do, like big picture, yeah. Yeah, some vague. Some, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll yeah. be right back. I want I want some of those uh, delicious bakery products. Yeah, we can send those your way, probably, right, Michael? Give them a sample, or yeah, we'll see. See what those. Yeah, I mean, I'm, is. I'm in like the other room. Just like send them down. Yeah. Do you want to, by the way, come into this room and record just with us, Midge, or would you rather stay in your <laughs> studio? Um. Well. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to inconvenience you, obviously. Yeah. But uh, you know, I just sat so. <laughs> Um, of course. You know, I'm, I'm thinking it'd be best not. I mean, I okay. I don't know. I just I just got out of that limo. I don't know, you know, yeah. where that driver's been. You know, in today's world, you gotta. Mm. I'm, I'm trying Safety to you know, first. Time. Yeah. Yeah. And that limo yeah. picked you up and just uh, drove in again uh, a big circle and took you back to the studio. <laughs> That's right. Okay, and we'll be right back from where from Green Gumbo Ghoul. the twisted minds of <laughs> True Detective and The Wire comes a beautiful heartwarming story <laughs> Green Gabagool about a mafia boss who's trying to see the light look just give me a name and I won't cut your dick off that fucking frog is ruining the whole operation Man, that show looks so good. It's truly... <laughs> I mean, it should be up for a corky at this point. It's a really, really special show. Oh, and I'm getting a network error here. Is that correct? Uh, did we... Uh, let me... Okay, hold on. We, uh, we're we getting um, fr- some some schematics here from the lab. Okay, yeah, we're actually being... Uh, we're, we're being hacked by Latvian uh, special forces. What? 
Yep. Are we are we back on or are we still hacked? Uh, I think we've defragged our mem and Whoa. are now have reinforced our mainframe and we are we're back. Great we news. Do need to watch out. Success Express has the official, um, you know, problem with the Latvians. Yeah, we got Trying hacked by this. Latvians. Yeah, please get into it. Hack us back in. Uh, Jesus Christ, that was scary as shit. But uh, but now we're back. It really sucks to get hacked, does it I not? Fixed it. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, maybe we came into a copyright issue with HBO because we're just playing clips. But I mean, Sean, they wanted us to play clips, right? Wasn't that the point? Uh, no, I just found those on the deep web. Oh, okay. So maybe that's why the Latvians are pissed off. Maybe they help produce it or something. But either way, yeah. you guys got to check it out. Green Gobble Ghoul is an incredible program. We've we've blocked we've blocked all ISPs from Latvia. Thank you so, so much. We should be good. And sorry if you're listening. Yeah, sorry from if you're from Latvia, but now you won't hear it. <laughs> so let's finish up uh, your schedule, uh, much as you finish up yourself, uh, Midge. Uh, so uh, I think we got to about probably one p.m. or so, where you were kind of getting a hands-on approach into the lab, designing these products, choosing which products to move forward with. So let's get into how you stroll uh, into the second half of your day are you doing a a normal dinner routine do you go out uh what's your protocol do you work Uh, out well you know sometimes uh you know i take the uh success express um dinner uh dinner uh supplements which you know are in um you know exchange for you know a proper meal so it's just like one pill meal replacement yeah yeah, meal re- it says uh, yeah, it's the Success Express meal replacement plan. So I, you know, I'm not on that, but like I'll, you know, go and like. It's an I'll easy take, way to sneak yeah. in a quick dinner. Yeah. yeah. And and what went into because because I am on that by the way I have been using because I try to test out the products that we're selling to people, and the Success Express meal replacement plan does come. Uh, it's one pill per day uh, for dinner, your, your, your other meals you eat normally, if I understood the instructions correct, Midge, but can you tell us what went into the, the research there? What's inside of this pill? Doesn't, it doesn't say say much on the box. You said eat the pill. Uh, correct. Ethan, those are suppositories. Oh my God. I was wondering why it was a little, it, it did look strange as a those are the success express (laughs) meal replacement suppositories. I, uh, I'll be honest. I didn't even know what that word meant when I saw it on the box. I just assumed I would, when I saw meal replacement, I assumed I would eat this like a meal. So what is my mouth going to turn into a bud or what happens? No, I mean, uh, I'm going to have the, the, uh, the scientists go kind of the, the worst side effect that's going to happen is, uh, you're just going to have just, just a lot of, um, just oil. Sorry, I'm going to have a lot of oil. <laughs> yeah. And uh, wh- how is that going to manifest exactly? Like oil in well, my body? No, like barrels. Like they're going to ship you barrels. Now. Oh, I'm going to just come of into oil. possession. Uh, a bunch of oil barrels. Yeah, they know you've been possession. eating them now. So they're like, you know, this guy is going to need, uh, you know, some oil. You'll see why soon. And Michael, it's the holiday season. Obviously, everybody's freaking out about this and uh, asking what kind of pastries we can look forward to from Coco's Bakery. Yeah, I mean, we obviously have all the you know Italian staples. We got cannolis. We got you know other Italian baked goods. Okay, um, see, I was just one. Yeah, but um, for this holiday, we're gonna do like a baked little baked ham. We got some hams. Oh, we're how coming nice! In. But. Uh, what was that, Mitch? <laughs> it's a baked ham. Gets yeah. excited about that. Yeah. But um, I'm coming for that ham. Yeah, we're trying to get them. But they're right now they're stuck on a ship, and it's all oh no from China pandemic. Can bullshit. we use oh, the Express Express helicopter to uh, go out to see and meet yeah, them? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We, we could send a rescue chopper to get those baked hams. Yeah, I was going to talk to you guys about that off air, but now that we brought it on mm-hmm. here, we could maybe. Um, or get one of the producers, Sean. I mean, I, yeah, I yeah. have the uh, Sean can do one it. call away. They're our captain of the Six Axis Express Special Forces team. I mean, they're, he's already down in the studio trying to get the uh, the source of the Latvian hack. Yeah, so, good. I mean, it's just, you know, Thank he's you. already here, ready. They could, they could roll, be, be mission ready. 
Can you like can you tell me about the, the head of uh, Success Express Special Forces? Because I, I personally I was so thrilled when you announced that we needed special forces and uh, and the different tasks that they can accomplish. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Just having a quick reaction for us is always is always good for any financial podcast. Yeah, and who heads that that team? I, I still have not spoken to that person. Well, no one's seen his face because uh, he's in constant tactical gear. Love it. Uh, but he's a good guy. Um, and family man? You know him personally? Family man? I do. I'll... Uh, I do. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, talk reveal too much off air. Uh, you know, he's he doesn't show his face often. He's, you know, probably wanted in several countries around the world for you know stuff he's done before. Uh, right. Success Express. Yeah. Now he's know. now he's straight. Yeah. He's he is ex. Uh, you know, several uh, military special forces as well. So you know, he's got quite the uh, the repertoire. Is he a family um, man or like a lone wolf? You know, no, uh, no attachments right. off the grid. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't know if I have those details. Um, you know, okay. So the one. You know what's be- funny though? Oh, go ahead. Where? Yeah, where? Where is Eric today? Uh, I've never seen that man and Eric now thinking about it in the same room together. Whoa, yeah, that is interesting. Maybe either he took him out, or yeah, maybe this is the first time we're hearing about the special forces, and Eric's, Eric's not not here. here. Oh, that's really interesting. Hmm. So well, I, well mean, I mean, he is in the other room. The uh, you know, the the, the gentleman, I don't know if we could say his name. Let's 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 call him Cobra. Uh, perfect, you know, Lieutenant Cobra. Yeah. So Lieutenant Cobra, you know, maybe is punishing Eric for breaking certain Success Express bylaws. You know, if you miss a certain amount of episodes, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if yeah. Cobra. You know, engaged in some punishment. Yeah, he, yeah, he's the enforcer for sure, for Success Express, and uh, it's right. good to have you know someone like him, well, uh, you know, lying a foot. And he reports but, uh, directly to you, Midge. Well, yeah, currently, you know, we, uh, you awesome. know, we, we took uh, some of that power away from you, as you recall. Um, I, you know, I'm the interim power holder. You, uh, you had that, uh, that failed insurrection, right? Well, yeah, yeah. you know, I, 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 just happy that I tried. Uh, yeah. I think that's uh, worth it, and, and and I'm happy that you're kind of leading the storm here, Midge, because I don't trust yeah, anybody well, more than you. That's so. okay. I, I think I'm a little bit better to pick the missions. I mean, some of the stuff you had these guys doing uh, was going to lead to nothing but trouble. Well, uh, if but, you can get you him know, to this, get the hams, th- yeah, that's I, what I'm saying. This the ham holiday hams. mission seems, seems on the worthy. Ship. Seems worthy, and yeah. uh, are they you know, baked? The only, on the ship? No, no, no. We need to get them here so we can bake them. Got it. So do you just have a big oven, or what's the baking situation? Oh yeah. There at uh, yeah, we got a. Uh, well, take us through because I love cooking videos and stuff. So you know, this could be kind of like a nice, uh, almost like a recipe video for for how to make yeah. cocoa bakery special baked ham. That's yeah. cool. It's it's actually the first of its kind. It's a wood coal brick. Wow. Oven. Wood, wood coal, coal brick, brick with, Coco's wood coal brick system. Yeah, wood coal brick oven. Wow. Holy shit! And wow. um, yeah, it's That's only uh, yeah twenty two payments. Oh, thirty four eighty nine ninety nine. Uh, <laughs> and that's one ham, or what is that? No, you? that's for the oven. That's if you want. Oh, oh, you, you, you get sell the oven. oven. Yeah, we sell the oven. Got it. Yeah, got we it. make the ovens and we sell them. That's uh, fantastic. I mentioned my uh, helper Giuseppe. Right, he, he does errands for me and like bakes bread, but he also builds these ovens. Wow! So guys, I could guys have got a know, lot to call do. him up. He could come to wherever you are in the world and Amazing. get you set up, and then you could. Um, so hold on a second. Giuseppe is like a, your right hand man, but he'll also travel to a customer's location to oversee. If it's, I mean, if we're building ovens, you know, that's worth our time. I, you know, but send him out. when he wow. could come into the bakery too, that's great because people love him, and mm-hmm. you know, he's great with kids and. Uh, you know, sometimes he has to do some dirty stuff too, like you sure. know, kill people or wow. But because we they also have missed a payment, I mean, or you have options at Success Express. You yeah, can well, he the, works uh, with uh, Lieutenant Special Cobra. Forces team, or you could use uh, yeah. you know Giuseppe <laughs> and uh, you know do it mafia style. Everybody's yeah. multi. I think him and Lieutenant Cobra are kind of like hand in. Yeah, hand they fit. work together. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to go into that relationship too much okay. on the air, but sure. Um, 
A lot of stuff you can't talk about. Yeah. But the yeah, taste, there's a lot of dark feelings in the uh, Six Hacks Express back back rooms. I want to get back so to the, say that. the hams. Yes, when you, when please. You, when you use the coal, the brick, and the wood together, yeah, it creates this beautiful flavor of, of sweet and savory. And, wow. And uh, it's just the best. But right now, I got no hams. Mm. So I, I need to get this man his hams. Yeah, give me my. All right, hams. we gotta we gotta put this mission together here, Ethan. We're gonna need you uh, to uh, open up the uh, Sex Access Express uh, emergency cash fund reserve. Okay, uh, that's no problem. Um, Sean, can we? Do we have some more in there for for this rescue mission? Because this sounds pretty important. People got to get their holiday hams. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Luckily, the uh, Six Sex Express uh, helicopter. Uh, the uh, spe- special edition Blackhawk uh, runs off corn, so we got that. The fuel cost covered. Nice. Uh, so we don't have to worry about fuel. Yeah, we got to bring everything in. We need. Oh no, we no, we still need fuel, but we just we just gonna bring a lot of you know extra corn fuel just in case. And is it more expensive <laughs> to use corn fuel? Is it better? Yes, for the because environment? we have to carry it with us for no reason. Okay, yeah, so have, Sean, Giuseppe, do that. Sean, can we can we transfer those funds so we can get this Blackhawk over to? Uh, to Michael's boat with the hams. Uh, which ones? Is, the holiday hams. He's got these hams. Think, I got that. They're stuck on a boat. Do you there's, think there's people that also need rescue, or should we just account for room for the hams no, no, on the helicopter? Just, no, I don't care. They'll they'll get off however they yeah, can get They can off live the on the boat. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine. fine. We we could drop them some Success Express survival kits. Um, Great. While that's perfect. we take the hams. God, we'll, that's we'll so do an thoughtful, exchange. Midge. You're yeah, always looking out yeah. for people. Yeah. yeah, we can give them corn. They can drink their own piss or something. I don't. What comes in the survival kit? How is we that have going? like like Michael said? Yes, the the the, the e- three ears of corn per survival kit. They can do what they please. Uh, the husk is still on them. They would have to de-husk them. I know they might be famished, and uh, that could be a problem if their energy levels. But you know they're gonna have to really rip at those corn <laughs> corn ears. Um, then for water, we do have our patent Success Express Kevin Costner uh, piss drink uh, filter. Um, that that will help them uh, filter um, their piss. And I think the the theory drink. there, the philosophy, I guess, is that there's because there's already piss in it, the the body can recirculate that and piss it out yes. and use it as water again easier. Yes. Is that the okay? What it is is just so much piss concentrated that it overloads your body and it makes it immune to drinking piss, probably in like in like one shot, from what I hear. <laughs> from what you hear, so this is not proven. This is all hearsay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is this is from our R and D team. This is one of the R and Ds. <laughs> this is what you're researching when you're fapping. <laughs> Correct. That's awesome. So we're gonna drop off. Is there anything else in the survival kit, or is that is it corn and piss? <laughs> That's right. I'm seeing one of our users here saying we could use the the husk to build a, a fire. There's plenty of uses for that corn. Um, you know, plenty of uses for that corn. It can be uh, sharpened into weaponry. If you have a knife, you can sharpen. Does, the is corn there a knife into, in the kit or no? No, but I'm saying if you if you were <laughs> happen to be surviving with a knife. You could sharpen the core. Yeah. That's awesome. And does it come with a flare gun or? Yes, it comes with a f- uh, flare bazooka. Actually, oh, nice. this thing could. Uh, wow, Flares it, it could f- it could flare something big out of the sky. So you know you got to be careful when you normally. You know, you, are flares used as weaponry normally, or is this a it's, new? It's heat seeking. So you want to be careful not to aim it at any plane you may see you know coming by to you know spot you or rescue is there, you is there a chance that it just loops back around and hits the boat because it's heat seeking well I'm a, mm. we don't know Never thought of, yeah i don't know i don't know i that, guess that not is possible because the boats on i think the boats on water and it'll cool it down enough okay so they don't need to worry about that so yeah, we have so. a flare bazooka uh some corn husked corn and uh, and our special piss concentrate. Oh, and let me. I, we got one of our. Uh, we got one of our whistles. It's super high power whistle that has been uh, miniaturized into a keychain version. So wow. now it's look at that. You see, if very, you're on Twitch, uh, you can see it. It's not that high powered anymore, unfortunately, because it's been miniaturized. Uh, that's Whoa. about as loud Yikes. as it could do. That is loud. Uh, Pretty loud. <laughs> well. 
if you need rescue, uh, you know, that could that could definitely get you rescue if someone's in about good fifteen to twenty feet of you. So uh, that's that that will be helpful for that's perfect, survival. Perfect for a ship. We've also yeah. So if uh, someone else on the ship needs to get your attention, they can yeah. do that from across the ship. Yeah. Well, maybe we've not across also the ship. included our uh, miniature minion keychain. Oh, nice! Uh, Have we teamed up with yeah. the minions, or is it like a different enough looking minion that it's okay? No, no, no. It's it's got a uh, like a dent. Oh, so we just <laughs> in the head. So. <laughs> We just dented the head of a minion keychain, and we're selling that. <laughs> or is that in the survival kit? Both. What was that? Both. <laughs> so it's for sale and part of our survival kit. Perfect. That's incredible. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to get this worked out. We got to call Lieutenant Cobra, talk to Giuseppe, because my people are going to go ham if they don't get their hams. Oh my god. Yeah, we got to get we got to get it and, you know, that was those great. people are waiting. <laughs> if they get hungry enough, they're going to they're going to get into those hams. We got to get them some replacement uh m- food, maybe some corn. Well, I'll tell you what doesn't need replacing. You as a person, Midge, and as the effective CEO of Success Express product lines and my co-host the brilliant Michael the Italian gelato of finance, Coco Bingy. Hey. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on the show. Thank you guys on Twitch. Thank you to Sean and Lucas. We learned a lot today. Uh, make sure you get all these products. Patreon.com slash Success Express. Uh, any final words, Midge? Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of products coming out. You know, keep your eyes on our uh on our uh emails and uh our product line will be uh revealed very soon for the fall it's got um a lot of hot holiday gifts that are all been miniaturized uh we got uh these headphones i'm wearing if you can see uh we've actually miniaturized them oh my god uh, look at that he and uh they don't real? work anymore now that they're mini uh sure. but and where and yep. i guess it's just like a cool decoration i mean what could like, who could wear oh, no, those? you could you could you could wear them we're just working on miniaturizing bodies to fit these products you know we get because imagine are we you close know, someone you know miniature imagine someone's heading here they're blowing a whistle we're close we're close <laughs> we, we we've only been able to do electronics so far which is interesting that, um, that is interesting you're yeah. shrinking people but uh and coco bingy yep. what do you uh, well any? hopefully we'll have the hams We'll have the hands. Yeah, no, yeah, we're we're sending. Yeah, they're already. Oh, I heard them. They're already in the the, the Sex Express uh, command. Yeah, room. you can go on our they're website. Already mission mapping. Perfect. You can get the wood coal brick ovens that we have. Yep. We can get you can get bread. You come visit us at our at our bakery. I heard you could also get uh, Sean Moose bath water. And we'll see you next yeah. time. Thank you so much. I would buy that though. Success Express is an all things comedy podcast and it's produced by Sean Tracy and Lucas Bollinger. Also, Eric and I are creating other podcasts. And if you want exclusive access to that, you got to go to patreon.com slash success express. Thanks for listening, McDucks. Bye bye.